Hello my crafty friends! Here is a nice morning in Russia. I am very very happy today in the morning because it's morning and I decided to cornstarch my um, uh, uh, my laundry, my bed sheets and uh, pillowcases and everything. Here's my coffee of course. So for that I put one glass 200 milliliters of water out of that picture and I place there like about five or six uh, tablespoons of that cornstarch or potato starch whatever you have and I'm going to pour it slowly in the boiling water in here and then soak my laundry and my um, uh, other pillowcases which is like already clean but not uh, cornstarch in here and I'll show it to you how it's done but um, since I'm a tripod now I can't do that my regular way I have to hold the camera and do everything at the same time so it is kind of tricky but I'll try as long as it's boiling so we're not gonna watch uh, how to say while the water is boiling right so we're just gonna oh out of focus now because it was boiling and um, we're just gonna pour it uh, with a tiny tiny stream in that uh, big dish and then I will get back to you so the water is still not boiling but slightly slowly and here's my laundry. I don't know if it's gonna fit all of it. It sounds like a lot. Seems like it's a lot. So it's just like a pillowcases from the previous batch and the uh, uh, duvet. I guess in Russia we use duvets. And here is uh, just another two pillowcases. Yeah, very soon I'm gonna pour this cornstarch into the boiling water with a tiny tiny stream because we have to make it like a glue some kind of handmade glue something that's what's gonna fortify the fabric makes it last longer and the fabric is gonna be kind of preserved for the for the better times and um, you don't wash it off you just uh, leave it as is, place it outside in Arizona is nicer because in Arizona we have a big like clotheslines and everything is so comfortable because it's a house but here's not bad either, it's a balcony so whenever I'm going to pour it in oh it's kind of boiling, maybe five more minutes or so so since the water is not boiling yet I'm gonna go ahead and show you my balcony it's super nice and sunny day here's gonna place my laundry when it's done in order to dry out um, here's another room it's actually not mine oh okay and that's my balcony I'm really lucky to have even that guess it's not Arizona and it's really cold in here today it's like what is it like uh, eight I don't know but it's sunny so I don't mind it's a fourth floor so I'm taking my uh, clothes pins out because it's like I have to have this clothes lines empty nice and clean and prepared for the cornstarch laundry I don't know if you guys do it in America because it's a it's like an old-fashioned like 19th century stuff but it preserves the fabric after not doing it for many years I um, noticed that my fabric my bed sheets would go very um, kind of thin and kind of start ripping apart so I decided to do so here I do my breakfast I ate my breakfast here uh, with somewhere company I have but I live alone 
So I'm just uh, I just gonna check out if it's boiling already. So it's getting there. It's slowly boiling. And all I'm gonna do, I have to pour it with a tiny stream and constantly stirring. That's what I can't do on camera because I have only one hand for uh, recording it. So I'm just gonna do it off camera and uh, get back to you. So I just put it in and uh, what you do, you constantly stir it and it's turning into a glue, some kind of glue, like a natural cornstarch glue. Next thing, uh, it's that the uh, liquid oh, it is ready and I'm gonna just uh, dip all my laundry in in order to get nice and crispy and um, uh, preserve the fabric. So that's the tricky part because um, the liquid is obviously less. I have less liquid than all of that fabric. So one of that, some of that has to stay without the cornstarch this time because I obviously not gonna have enough. But this one is a, it's a very thick fabric. It's nice as is already and I just have to turn it a little bit turn it turn it sometimes I think that it's too bad that I'm not in Arizona because it's like everything is works out so perfect in there for any projects and here half of my projects are hardly done because there's not much room I'm even lucky not to have a roommate around but um, you know I cannot stay that way for longer for that long, I mean for a long long time it's nice to be alone at the place but can't be going like that forever so that's what it is oh I hope not to poke holes in it and uh, then I'm gonna get this um, dish and I'm gonna place it in here using my both hands again because all you need to do, you need to soak it in into the glue kind of thing, star starch corn, and put it back in and uh, like hang it somewhere that it would be leaking down. You don't have to wash it again. That's the point. Okay, the first batch is ready. It's right here. It's pouring the liquid down. Now I'm gonna soak in two pillowcases. That's why I can use my one hand because they're kind of small. So pillowcases are going in. Get it nice and soaked. I turned the stove off because it was, um, you know, hard, hard, hard boiling. I was afraid to get myself burned or make this dish going down on the floor. So it's kind of, uh, it's like not Arizona, like I said not that much uh, room is in here it's like you have to be very very careful and precise with everything it's tiny tiny one bedroom yeah but anyways well it's soaking it doesn't have to be soaked for that long just it has to absorb in it the liquid the glue so i can show you the other room which is super super nice let's sneak in I'm not supposed to go in here, but I'm not going to do anything bad. So just sneak in. That's super nice European style. It's not that small, actually. It's kind of nice. Okay, I'm not going to go in <laughs> deeper. But anyway, so that one is almost ready. For that, I need both hands to take care of that. So I'm going to place my two pillowcases in here now. We'll be back to you. So I placed my other items on the balcony in order that to uh, get that uh, all this heat out because it's very 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 hot. The water was boiling. So that one I have to turn a little bit. Um, yeah, it's still very very hot, but it's nice and gluey. If you taste um, test your fingers like this, it will feel like some kind of glue that's the right liquid because before I didn't do enough starch cornstarch and I did that um, 
kind of like a tiny, tiny, just I was afraid to overdo it and it was not enough so it wasn't feeling on my fingers. But this one is a like that so um, kind of off the topic but the same thing you feel that you're ovulating if you test yourself out and that's like a little bit how to say like kind of like not that uh, it's sticky so that means the ovulation process is in progress but it's just for just for your knowledge I'm telling you okay this one is pretty nice I can actually go ahead and go take it to my balcony so when it's cooled down, I'm just going to play with the liquid a little bit more and get this liquid out of here, the soapy liquid, and pour it in here and get it soaked a little bit nicer before I place it on my clotheslines. Just wanted to show you how nice and steamy it is. Ah, my camera isn't focusing. Why is it focusing? It's so steamy that my camera doesn't want to focus. See, that's all steamy. And I do turn it a lot in order to soak the liquid underneath to that part that duvet because that one is obviously all soaked and I don't want to waste a nice prepared liquid so while it's there why not okay I squeezed it a little bit and let it run and since I got a little bit of more that, of that liquid, I'm going to bring my other two pillowcases and do them too. So, oh, one is ready. You have to stretch it. Okay, out of focus again. You have to stretch it. And uh, in order to uh, be able to have it um, nice and smooth, because you will not be able to laundry all these wrinkles. Because it's like it's going to be so hard when it comes out that um, wrinkles are going to stay. So you have to stretch it as much as possible when you hang it.